Now then, guys, welcome to Stars Gaming. I'm Luke. This is Season 6, Episode 3 of my York City Road to Glory on Football Manager 2018. And today, we've got a big game against Manchester City in the Carabao Cup. And I think I said it's like the biggest game in York's history. It might not be. They've probably had important games. But this is definitely the biggest club of the save that we've managed, well, that, that, we've, that we're facing so far. I like our chances today. I don't know why, I just fancy us. Form is, we've been going well. If you have a look, we are, well, joint second, are we? There's a lot of bit, lot of us on 17 points. Um, Wimbledon on 15 points. Birmingham are kind of running away with it a bit with the three points ahead. And we have a quick look at the results we've had since you've last seen us. And the game is running a little bit slow. So you'll have to just kind of bear with us a little bit because I don't know what's going on with it. So we last time out, you saw us... I think it was the Sunderland game that we did. I think we did the Peterborough game and then the Sunderland game. We lost against Crewe, 1-0. We lost against Lincoln on penalties in the Checker Trade Trophy. I don't really care about that. It was a very rotated team. We then came back, beat Hartlepool 3-1. McAllister getting on the score sheet twice. Taylor getting on the score sheet. Oldham, we ended up winning 3-1 again. McAllister getting two goals again for us. Ben Morris managed to get a game. Tony Gomez missed the penalty. We then played Fleetwood. It was a 1-1. McAllister managing to get the equalising goal in the 86th minute. Ben Morris missed a penalty for ourselves. Again, not good. I need to sort out my penalty takers, but Ben Morris should have scored that and we would have had the win. But we didn't. Oh, well. We then played Cop Commentary, scored another three goals. Taylor, Gomez and McAllister on the score sheet this time. And the last game we played was against Robin Rotherham. 1-1. Taylor getting on the score sheet. It was an average game, wasn't the best game for us. We managed to obviously get the goal back in the 60th minute and just kind of hold on for the draw, which was a good draw for us. But today, Man City. We'll have a look at the team that's going to be lining up against Man City. I'm going to make a couple of changes for it, actually. I've already changed a few bits up already. And like I say, it's taking... I'm clicking the button and it's taking forever to get to the menu, so I don't know what it's going to be like when I hit the actual match. I don't know how it's going to be when it records... I'm just thinking I don't like the fact I don't have a keeper on the bench. And I'm going to take off... I'm going to take off um, Christian Davis. He's not really match fit. He's 84%. There's no point having him on the bench. Um, I, am, I am looking at another player to bring in on a free, just to strengthen the midfield a little bit. But this is how the team is going to be lined up. We've got George, Taylor, Rowe and Jackson as our defensive players. Well, three and then the goalie. Then we've got Thompson Blake as a win backs. We've got Roe Fawn as the ball winning midfielder. We've got Smith as a, a Mazala. Taylor as the attacking playmaker with Gomez and McAllister up front. We have Dylan Levitt, who is better than Taylor, but at the minute is not performing that well. I am going to drop it down to counter as well, though. We are against Man City. I know I'm on retained possession, but I'm just going to try and just see how that goes. I don't know if it will make any differences going on counter, but we are at home. Have we already played Man City once before? I'm saying this is the biggest game that we've played. Is that counting the Checker Trade Trophy? Didn't we play him in the... Oh, I'm going to have to go back and have a look now. Excuse me for a second, guys. We haven't played Man City yet. I'm sure it was the under-23s that we played. Um, Man City, Man City, Man City. No. We haven't played Man City at all. Why is it said? Ah, oh, is it probably counting as a friendly? I don't know. That must be counting a friendly that we've played against them. Here we go. Let's just get into this game and see how we get on. Right, here we are. About to get into the match. Look at the team that um, Man City have got. They've got Sane playing for them. They've got Sterling playing for them. Who else have they got? Kyle Walker still playing for them as well. Oh, this is going to be a difficult game to play. Oh, this seems slow. I don't know. Come on, we're under underdogs. They like the underdogs. That would do. Let's get into this game and see what happens, eh? Send the assistant. It would be awesome if we managed to win this game. I don't think we will. I think Man City are going to batter us. And already we've given the ball away straight away. And uh, they don't capitalise on it. Thank God for that. Right, straight away. Highlight to uh, Man City. 
We managed to win it. And now we're going to go on the counter. McAllister picks the ball up. Plays it. A nice ball to Gomez. Gomez beats his man. Shoots, but doesn't score. Oh, annoying. That should have been a chance. Gomez last season would have scored that. Right, goal kick to us. Going to apologise now. I think I'm having encoder issues again with OBS. So I'm going to have to edit this. If it does seem a bit like I've missed out some important bits, it's because it's just jewellery. But I'll keep an eye on it and hopefully it should be all right. Right, Taylor's on the ball. Passes it to Smith, to Rothorn, to Taylor. What can Taylor do? Can he find Blake? He can't. Kyle Walker picks the ball up. Now it's Man City's attack down this right-hand side. We'll take that any day. I don't know how strong this team is they're playing against. I don't know how the two strikers are. I don't know who they are. I've not looked at them before. They, there you go. There's the goal. We've done well. 25 minutes and we've only just conceded a goal now. I'm going to see how OBS does when it comes to this 3D highlight. It's, it's actually all right. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's, it's not doing it. And that's just a goal from a corner, unfortunately. Right. Question is, though, do I move it up and go a bit more attacking in the second half? Right, that's half time, guys. It's only one nil at half time. I'm quite pleased with that. One nil at half time. Um, I'm pleased how it's going. Keep it, keep it up. I don't know whether to come off counter and go attacking the first like ten minutes of this second half. I may do it. You know, what we're already losing anyway. What there's no harm in it to trying to go at them. We are at home. We can at least go at them and try and get a try and get a goal out of this. Right, Martin Blake's picked up an injury. So I'm gonna take him off. Matt Blake. Why do I call him Martin? Where did that come from? Uh, have I got a midfielder on the bench? Oh, that could be a problem. I don't have a midfielder on the bench. Because I took him off. I don't even have Davenport either, do I? Uh, not Josh Ors. What about Levitt? Can you play in a midfield role? As an attacking playmaker. Let's have a look. Can we swap you two round? Deep line playmaker on support. Let's just give this a go. Oh, no, hang on. I'm subbing the wrong person off here, guys. What the hell am I doing? Right, it's my... Wrong person. I'm losing the plot. Luke Hale, that's who we need. I don't want Blake, Matt Blake to be injured because he's, he's done well for us this season so far. So hopefully he can come off. Hopefully it's only a little knock he's got. It's not a proper injury. Out for like a couple of days. That'll be fine. Back three's not performing well. Jackson's not having a good game. McAllister's, again, not having a good one. Probably bring on Ben Morris from, from McAllister, I think. Right, Sterling with a free kick. Can we break from this? Is this going to be a Man City goal? It looks oh, just wide. Deflection, but it is a corner. Should be a corner. Right, 70 minutes in, I'm going to make a couple more subs, I think. Ben Morris is going to come on as the advance forward. Anyone else? Yeah. Levitt's going to come on. I probably should be starting him because he is a better player than Taylor, but Taylor's our player, and he has put, put in a good couple of performances, and last season as well, he was decent for us. But Man City break here. Are they going to get a goal? Yes, they are. Mohamed, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name. Just It was a ball over the top. Well, it wasn't even a ball over the top. It was a nice pass, actually. Just passed it through the middle of our defence. Say middle of our defence. It wasn't. It was down around the other side. And that was a good goal. 2-0. It does look like we're going to be knocked out of the... Uh, the old checker trade trophy. But let's just change some instructions up. Let's just go... Route one, pump the ball into the box. Close down more. Get stuck in. Let's give him a game. In the 80th minute. <laughs> Let's give him a game at the 80th minute. That's ridiculous. Possession-wise, not been too bad. We've had shots. I had him on target as well. Three on target. 50-50 possession. I'm kind of pleased with how this game's gone. We haven't been proper battered as well, which is always a good sign. Right, Luke Hale with a throw-in to Levitt, who plays it up forward to Morris. He does get the ball, finds Gomez. This is going to be the end. If we get a goal, it will be nice, but... Be, well, yeah. Don't know what I was going to say. Taylor wins that. 
I'm really bad at commentating today. I can't get my words out. But Man City are going to go on and probably get a third in. No, we don't. Taylor with a good tackle. Big ball forward. Gomez is going to get this. This is going to be the last chance of the game. Cross in, but he can't find Gomez. Not uh, Morris even. And that's it. 2-0 against Man City. We'll take that. It's not that bad of a result, really. Um, I can't fault your performance. Man City were meant to win that game. Right, we're out of the Trekker Trey Trophy. Not yeah, Carabao Cup. Sorry, I don't know why it's a Trekker Trey Trophy. I don't know whether I'm coming or bloody going today. Ah, but it's Man City. It'd be nice if we had someone like Fleetwood or someone to get through to the next round. We didn't. We'll take it. Who have we got next? Um, we've got Bradford next. So I'll be straight back for the Bradford game, guys. Right here we are, guys, for the old. Uh, for the old Bradford City game. Uh, we're at home again, which is nice. We didn't have to travel far for the for this game as well. In fact, we didn't have to travel at all. So I've gone back to standard on this. I've made a couple of changes. Uh, Hollywell, is it Holwell? Yeah, Holwell is come on for Rowe, who has dropped off the bench now. We've got Tyler still playing, Jackson still playing, Simpson in goal. Blake's going to start with Tonks on the other wing, on the other like wing back position. Smith's dropping down, back down to ball-winning midfielder with Christian Davis starting as the deep-line playmaker. Levitt's going to make a start with Gomez and McAllister up front. Obviously, on the bench, I've dropped, I've moved Rowe off the bench just because Rowe Fawn can cover in midfield and he can cover in defence as well, which is pretty decent. Other than that, the team hasn't really changed much. I've got a bigger squad this season still to kind of play around with. Regan Paul's had a good couple of games. Um, we've got some good young defenders coming through as well. Anyway, let's just get straight into this, straight into this game and see how we get on. Right, so they are going with the kind of the four-one-four-one, quite defensive really. But I think we can, I think we can take tear them apart, tear them apart. That's me being overconfident. We owe them after last time. I think they beat us last time. I think we should do all right. I feel like a, a win here would be getting us back on track. If I want to get a, a playoff push this season. It'd be nice if we managed to manage to get a playoff push. I just can't see us doing it. I think at the later stages of the season, I think we'll start picking up a few knocks, few injuries, and we'll I think we'll just struggle. Um we always do at the end of the, like the later end of the season. We haven't got the biggest squad ever. But it would be nice for us to try and push for playoffs this season and then next season go on and try and get automatic promotion. All right, first highlight, Gomez to Levitt. And we've just got the most ridiculous own goal ever. That Levitt took the shot and it bounced off two of their players to go into the back of their net. Let's let's see this in 3D. This is um, crazy. Right, Tonks to Gomez, plays it to Levitt, who beats his man and then just has a shot and it just <laughs> bounces off their defender who clears it and it just hits the other guy and goes into the back of the net. That is probably one of the funniest goals I've ever seen in Football Manager. <laughs> With that goal as well, it's put us up, what, 20 points in third place at the minute. Right, Blake, he can't get in there. Smith picks the ball up nicely. Like, can he play it back? What's he going to do with it here? Just runs with it. There's a go. Plays it down the wing. There you go. Blake's on it. Can he get the cross in? McAllister's there. McAllister scores. Dominic McAllister on loan from Manchester United. Does it again for us. And I tell you what, I need to try and keep this guy at this club. Um, whether if we get promoted and I get some money, I might be able to buy him. If not, I'm going to have to try and extend his loan. I realise, obviously, when I'm on this view and I do the highlight, you can't really see it because of the, the league table. But Dominic McAllister is someone I want to make get at this club permanently because he can score goals for us. I don't know how he's going to do, say, in the championship level. I think he is classed as a championship striker. So it'd be nice for the next level. But we've got a young squad breaking through. And um, Simpson obviously is getting on a little bit. He was obviously he's been here for since we've started. Anyone else been here since we've started? No, apart from Roe is in the uh not here, Rofon. I think he's been here from the beginning as well. I don't know if I brought Rofon in, but we'll have a look at that. But half time, 2-0 up. I'm very pleased. Keep this going. We're doing a lot better this season than I thought we'd be doing, to be honest with you. I thought we'd struggle. I thought we'd have first season kind of struggling to this because I think it's still a, a good step up. But it looks like we're not going to struggle and it looks like we might somehow get some sort of playoff push out of this. 
good if we got a promotion. It would be. And I know I'm thinking too far ahead, what are we? Only, what, game number six? No, game number ten. It's a long, long old season this is as well. So I can't get it too far ahead of myself. Right, Levitt to Smith. Oh, hits the crossbar. What an effort that was. Goes out for a goal kick. Right, coming up to the 70th minute mark. I've not made any subs. I think after this highlight, I'll, I'll probably think about bringing a sub on. Taylor picks the ball up. He's got plenty of time. Simpson to Holwell. Ball over the top. McAllister's there. Is he going to get himself a second goal? McAllister shoots. Doesn't get himself a second goal. I think, all right, who else am I going to, what am I going to do now? Smith's not having the best of games. Let's give Rowe for a, a run out. Um, and then I'm going to take Blake off. I'm going to bring on Hale. Blake obviously picked up that knock in that last game, and I don't really want to risk him any longer. We're 2-0 up. And I'll save my final substitution for when, obviously, we get an injury, because no doubt that's going to happen at some point. Right, corner goes towards them. But we've got plenty of men back. Taylor's back to cover for it. Plays it forward. Can't find anyone, though. And that's the end of that highlight. As this game ticks on, I'm I'm trying to think of maybe sub to a... Uh, to bring on, a, I don't know, either Levitt to come off to bring on Taylor or bring on, is it Morris, the other striker I've got, and take off Gomez. Christian Davis, though, does get as a get, does get as another goal. So we're 3-0. Let's just think about the sub I want to make. And Levitt's not really played much football this season. Smith has. Ben Morris, I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to give him another chance. Um, put him as an advance forward and see how we get on. He hasn't played that well, Ben Morris hasn't, to be honest with you, for him. So give him, give him a chance. He's scored a couple of goals. He's missed that penalty for us. Well, this is a nice, though, crossing. Their defender heads it, but doesn't head it out clear enough. And Davis is there just to put that one in the back of the net. We're going to win this one 3-0 again. It's nice. We're getting, we're getting plenty of goals again. And this is what we did last season. Scored loads of goals and just kind of tailed off towards the end of the season. Carlisle beating Hartlepool 6-4. What a game that is. And I've just noticed someone, who was above us on the same points? Was it Peter? Someone's obviously losing. It's actually put us up into the automatic promotion spot in second place. Three points behind Birmingham. That's crazy. And I think that's going to be the end of the game. We're going to keep a clean sheet here, which would be nice. Hopefully we finish, we do, full time. Are we going to be in the, we are, I think we are in the automatic player, automatic promotion spots here. I think we're in second place. Very nice, nice victory that was. Well done. What's up with them? Why am I told them they played well? And it switched. Okay, whatever. Right, they obviously don't like me praising them. So Bradford, it should have been a game we would have won anyway. They're down in 18th. Let's just have a quick look at this league table and see where we are, and I'll figure out where I'm going to come back next as well. So, yeah. We're finished. <laughs> We're in second, guys. This is crazy. Who who lost then? Wimbledon, how did they do? They won. They won their game. Peterborough, how did they get on? I'm trying to see who bottled it to give us the... Uh, or is it Eastley? I can't see it right now who it was you're probably screaming out 7-4 that Carlo game what a what a what a game that was um anyway enough me just staring at these results where are we going to be coming back next where are we we're in September at the minute it'd be nice to do Ligon Ligon Wigan but they're too too close together I wanted to try and get this season done um as quick as I can really I might come back and do the Eastley and Sheffield United game at the minute fifth ninth they could be kind of teams were around and I'll just play these big Luton, Wigan, check trade trophy game, Northampton and Mansfield off camera and I'll come back to do that and then we should know who we've got in the FA Cup but I'm not going to play that, I'm just going to do the league games. So guys, thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you in the next one, see you in a bit.